Hey and namaste. I'm Zay with Exude Yoga. And if you are new here, this is an affirming space for you to heal out loud. Thank you so much for tuning in and showing up for yourself. This week, we're going to be doing a special wall yoga flow for relaxation and sleep. Yes, if you are needing to just wind down and find the proper way to rest and really getting into deep, meaningful, intentional rest, this is a great flow for you to just slow down and unwind. We're going to be against the wall, so I'm going to give you some time, maybe pause the video to clear some space and find an empty wall for you to do this flow on. You can also grab a blanket. I'm going to be covering myself with a blanket during this flow just to feel more comfortable. And yes, if you have any questions, drop them down below and roll out your mat, get yourself situated and comfortable, and let's get into the flow. So we are going to come up against the wall. Lie down on the side, bringing one leg up, and then bringing the other to meet, and readjusting however you need to. From here, you can bring the arms over the head. <sighs> Taking some time to relax here. From here, we're gonna move the heels down about halfway. You can bring the hands towards the wall or keep them wherever they're at. And slowly begin to shift the hips back, coming into a supported shoulder stand, sliding the shoulders forward, maybe interlacing the fingers and drawing them towards the wall. Taking a few deep inhales and exhales here. On your next exhale, slowly coming back down onto your mat, bringing the knees together, hugging the knees in, flexing the toes upward. Maybe rocking from left to right, from side to side. When you're ready, bringing your legs back up the wall, arms coming over the head, taking a few moments here just to be. Slow down the breath. Finding moments where you check in with the body Begin with the spaces that need the most attention. Now from here, we're gonna take the right foot and bring it to the top of the left knee. And we're gonna slide the left heel down the wall, keeping both toes flexed and activated. We're gonna press the hips closer into the earth feeling the opening in the inside of the right thigh. Whew. 
taking a few breaths here we're going to take a few moments here so continue to check in with the breath really relaxing the body not putting too much pressure on yourself not putting too much pressure on your practice feeling comfortable you can even bring the arms above the shoulders A few more breaths, bringing the right knee closer towards the wall. back down slowly lifting the hips upward bringing the right foot up and coming into a shoulder stand shifting the shoulders forward keeping the elbows parallel and you can play here if you would like be spreading the legs, just having fun. Bringing the legs back up the wall, arms over the head. Windshield wipe the knees from left to right. Can do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna place the left foot on the top of the right knee, flexing the toes upward, beginning to slide the right heel down the wall, pressing the right heel into the wall as you shift the hips towards the mat. And you should feel the stretch in the inside of the left thigh. You can place the hands wherever you feel comfortable. Sometimes I even like to place one hand on the heart and one in the sacral space. <sighs> Breathing through any tension that you're feeling in the body, finding rest in the body. And wherever you feel unease, creating a restful state in the space. Closer towards the wall, opening up the hip even more. And when you're ready, lifting the hips upward, sending the left leg in the air. The right leg can meet the left, or you can come back down onto your back. If you're in a shoulder stand, just finding play here. 
moving the knees around, stretching out the hips. And slowly rolling back down towards the earth, bringing the legs back up the wall, arms over the head, breathing through the sacral space. Breathing through the solar space. Allowing yourself to just be here. To feel all you need to feel. To clear the mind. So you can move into a restful space. You're gonna slide the heels down the wall, bringing the hands towards the knees. And once the heels are as far as they can go, you're gonna walk them outward as far as they can go. We are in a wall squat. From here, placing the hands together, the elbows come to the inside of the knees. As you press, maybe readjusting however you need to. Letting off any tension in the knees, keeping the elbows, I'm sorry, keeping the knees parallel with the ankles. Adjusting the shoulders, creating a flat spine, and with each exhale, pressing the elbows into the knees. Opening up the center of the thighs. stillness within discomfort. This will allow you to find rest anywhere at any time. Breathing here for a few more breaths. Taking your time, being gentle with yourself. Being gentle with each moment. Inhale, slowly beginning to bring the heels and the knees together. Oof. Bring the legs back up the wall. You can come into a shoulder stand or you can windshield wiper the knees. Slowly rolling each vertebrae back down to the earth, allowing your heels to meet the wall, spine to go flat, hands over the head, maybe one shell wipe the knees, rotate the wrists. So from here, we're gonna come into a butterfly. So readjust however you need to, maybe scoot the hips up a bit closer towards the wall. The heels and the feet come together as you slide them towards the center of the hips.
drawing the shoulders back. If you're not comfortable with pressing the knees, you can bring the hands over the head. Just allowing this to be your practice. Allowing yourself to flow however your body is telling you to. Allowing the breath to guide the body. Allowing spirit to guide the breath. Just finding peace in each moment of the breath. Finding peace and discomfort. And within peace, you'll find the state of restfulness. Pressing the knees closer towards the wall. Trust in the body and trust where the body is taking you and guiding you. Inhale slowly, maybe even using the hands to press the knees together, sending the legs back up the wall. You can windshield wiper the knees or you can bring the hips up and come into a shoulder stand. And from here, just doing whatever feels good to you, taking a few moments to yourself. always important to find play in your practice. <laughs> Especially before going to sleep and when waking, it's always great to start and end the day with the tapping into your inner child. Now let's slowly roll the spine back onto the mat, sending the legs up the wall. <sighs> Maybe you want to show wiping the knees. Sending the legs back up. Arms extend above the shoulders. You can rotate the wrists, rotate the ankles. All right, we're gonna slide the heels all the way down, keeping the feet on the wall, and we are going to turn. I'm gonna turn onto my right side, bringing the left arm out, looking over the left shoulder. You're gonna bring the right arm to the top of the left knee. As you press the right elbow into the left knee, you're gonna twist, extend the left arm out, looking over the left shoulder and resting here. Breathing through the lower spine.
deep inhales and exhales in and out of the nose. On your next inhale, bringing the left arm across the body, rocking onto the right side of the body. Very slowly, stacking the knees, just resting on the hands. Taking a few breaths here. When you're ready, we're going to slowly come back onto our backs, bringing the legs back up the wall. Doing what feels good to you here. And rotate the wrists, rotate the ankles, come into a shoulder stand. Just moving freely. to the wall with the legs completely up the wall. You can bring the arms above the shoulders, taking a few deep inhales and exhales. All right, now when you're ready, sliding the heels towards the hips, doing the same thing we did on the other side by rocking onto the left side of the body this time. The right arm comes out, looking over the right shoulder. We're gonna take the left arm in the left elbow and bring it towards the top of the right knee. Using the left arm to help you twist. Extending the right arm outward. Maybe even facing the palm towards the sky, closing the eyes and exploring the breath here. to just rest, to discover what's going on in the body, clearing the mind, cleaning the body with the breath. inhale beginning to bring the right arm across the body rocking onto the left side stacking the knees bringing the hands underneath the left ear taking a few moments here on your own Press the right hand into the earth. Slowly begin to walk the body up. If you're wanting, you can also stay and move into Savasana or continue flowing. Okay. 
and come into the middle of the mat. Kind of just move the body around. Now you can take the next five to 10 minutes, maybe even pause this video and flow however you need to. If not, let's come into an easy seat and close out this flow. <sighs> you can bring the hands wherever you feel comfortable. You're gonna bring them to heart center. Feeling the energy move in between the palms. <sighs> Noticing the body in a restful state. Noticing the peace you feel in the body. Noticing the bliss that this peace and rest is bringing you. Thank you so much for tuning in and for showing up for yourself. Thank you for allowing me to guide you in this beautiful, relaxing and restful practice. Thank you for allowing me to shine my light. And until next time, namaste.